What's up, it's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com and today I'm at VaynerMedia in Los Angeles speaking at a health fair with two of my favorite people. Allison and Susie from the Food Heals podcast. You girls ready? We're ready. Let's do it. All right, ladies, what are we doing here today? We are doing a live podcast. We're going to be talking about how to bring healthy into the office. What are you doing here? What am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be showing people that healthy food can actually taste good. It can? It can. <gasps> it's true, I've heard of it. It can. I'm going to be doing a demo, speaking, educating, good and stuff. And a recipe. And a recipe. Tell us more. Dessert. And we have some cheese. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm excited to be here. When I was a kid, my dad was diagnosed with high cholesterol, which is common theme we hear nowadays, and the doctor told him, if it tastes good, don't eat it. It's bad for you. And that always kind of stuck in my head. It's like, that doesn't seem right. Like, there has to be a way that food has to taste good and be healthy. And that's what I want to talk about today. Now, a lot of times, when you start eating healthy food, you think it's gonna be salad, it's not gonna taste good. When you're used to eating food that's high in fat, and high in cholesterol, and high in salt, your taste buds don't know how to recognize something that's healthier. So it takes a while sometimes, to actually get your taste buds in line and actually enjoy it. And I remember the first time I had a green juice, I practically threw it out and threw it threw up. I mean, it was disgusting to me. It's like, give me some apple in there, put some carrots in there. There's no way I was gonna have this. But over time, I found myself wanting less fruit and more green and more kale and some of the healthier ingredients. And it didn't taste as bad because my taste buds were aligning with the healthier foods I was eating. I didn't realize the impact of that until I was diagnosed with something and I had my own personal challenge that I had to overcome. And I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna eat? Am I gonna be stuck eating salads all day? Like, I didn't know how to make anything but a sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly was like my staple. You know, and by no means am I a chef because the stuff I do is easy to make. If I can do it, anybody sitting here can do it. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. We're gonna make it a, something called a brownie bite, which is just a bunch of ingredients you put in a food processor and you're done. It's like you don't even bake these things. And we have a bunch of other cheeses up here, some plant-based cheeses that some of our friends, our local chefs made for us, and some you can find in the stores as well. So if you have any questions with any of the stuff up here, feel free to ask us. But I'm thinking we just need to make some brownies. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right, let's make some brownies. So good. Wow, it's really good. Yeah, that one's really good. This is <laughs> oh wow, that's tasty. So we just wrapped up the food demo. Jordan, how was it? Amazing. Amazing. Everything was so good. Loved it. She liked it. Now we're onto the podcast, and Allison and Susie, they're they're getting ready to crush it over here. Okay, so now we're here live at Vayner Media with operations assistant and the reason that we are here today, Jordan Clinkenbeer. Thank you so much for putting this together. Yeah, thank you. Everyone loved it. Obviously, we're in LA office. People are really into fitness, health, so I think it was perfect combination and just a really cool day for you guys to come in. I love my parents, but they just weren't the kind to uh, have strict guidelines on my diet growing up. And a good diet can't outrun stress. And you know, a lot of people look at the food and I think there's a lot of power to that. But also, managing stress from a holistic point of view, and I'm sure you ladies could probably talk about that a little more than I can, really can help ease the anxiety because in your digestive system is where all your stress and anxiety kind of lives. That you, when you're eating nutritionally dense foods, yeah. you don't need to eat as much of it. The digital density is, is huge, even when you look at organic versus not. So I couldn't leave without a, saying a big thank you and shout out to Jordan here. I so appreciate the invite. I had a great time today. I hope you enjoyed it too. I did. I think everyone else did too. Thank you. Awesome. All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye.